I always find that food is such a highlight of the whole travel experience. So I guess it makes sense. We want to capture that meal with a bit of food photography. And I guess the hope is that the image allows you to enjoy that meal long after the taste of it has faded. Wow, incredible, thank you. Ooh. So straight away I have to fight the initial urge to dive right in and start eating because Right now, the priority is getting a nice shot, but for me, I'm trying to find, I guess, a focal point, trying to find a, a, I guess the key to what might be a great food photograph. So I'm looking at textures, I'm looking at colours, I'm looking at the, the layout of the meal and trying to pick out, I guess, a food priority straight away. You could say I've got a bit of a unique approach to food photography. I kind of see food like a landscape on a plate. And so, in this respect, you know, my duck there is like a mountain range and all the little bits around it, like the orange and the peas, are kind of like the foreground of the shot. And just like a landscape photograph, I'm trying to find a way to step the eye from the foreground towards the background. That's if I'm shooting from an oblique view like that, but just like a landscape shot, sometimes you get up in a helicopter and take an aerial view. So from above, this works really well with food as well because it gives you a really good idea of the texture and the layout of the dish. And just depending on the meal will influence which of those two angles I choose. Okay, I think I've finally managed to capture my landscape on a plate. There's only one thing left to do, that's to dive right in.